you sum it up for us? Uh, are you happy with the year? And, and for everyone, what was the highlight? Yeah, it's been uh, another very busy year. Uh, racing everything from every distance, from sprinting up to the full distance. And uh, I did hope for more. Like, of course, like with the World Championship title in, in May and St. George, uh, but still that corner race that sticks out to me, that third place. I guess you know how it feels going there and expecting to win, or like where that's the big goal, and you either travel away from the island without the win in your pocket, or you're standing there crossing the finish line first. And uh, I was aiming for that feeling, and uh, yeah. So that's the disappointment of the year, third place finishing Kona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I think when that's also like the disappointment of the year, then also like that's maybe summing up that it's been a quite good season still, you know. <laughs> yeah, and with so many big highlights, like we had already World Championship in May and then the Sub-7 project a month later and then again building up to Hawaii, also having home, hometown race in uh, Bergen and then trying to get on top of that again for uh, the grand final in Abu Dhabi. Then I felt like it's been a long season and okay, just stay two more weeks of focus now and then I can call it a year. But do you fatigue? Like it seems like you never fatigue as an athlete. You're, you're, you're bouncing between distances which has never been done before and, and you're right at the pointy end. Is there leg fatigue? Were you feeling flat in Kona or? Uh, um, I think I was in good shape in Kona, but like when I came off the bike, I felt like I didn't feel as sharp. And maybe in the run training going into Tokukona, I wasn't feeling that sharp the last few weeks. But still, like the summer was great. And uh, um, I wouldn't say it's the volume or the races that's taking, you know, that's like taking the most energy. It's more what's happening around and uh, like the travel and that sort of thing. Like the training is yeah. easy compared to that stress level. But did you feel like that world championship, that 70.3 title a couple of weeks after Kona was a little bit of a, no. Prize or no, 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 not at all. Like, it was more, it was good to check that out as well. Like, no, I have the, the box, the, the box, everything. <laughs> so, this, that, that was a good feeling. But still, like, yeah, when you go into that corner race with like everything on the line, that, that's the title, or that's the battle between me and Gustav that I wanted to race. Like, you don't want to go home and win like a local race afterwards. It's almost that feeling. Yeah, okay. uh, but of course it was nice to win it and it was nice to have like a good memories from St. George, like big year in St. George this year. Third place on debut in Kona is nothing to be, nothing to be disappointed about. I think people would give their right arm to have a third place finish in Kona, so a remarkable year. Well done, mate. Thank you.